Well, why it's disappointingly there's been no wins for South Australians AFL teams, there certainly have been massive wins for Adelaide's property owners. Spring has sprung and stock supply is still short. We continue to see extraordinary sale results over the last month with two auctions we attended on Saturday achieving sale prices in excess of $700,000 above the asking price. August had the highest volume of auctions ever recorded. This certainly makes it challenging for those trying to get into the market to say the very least. An interesting fact is that 38% more homes have sold in South Australia in the last 12 months compared to the previous 12 months and this is considerably higher than 10 and 20 year averages as well. You would think this would reflect in lowering prices, but clearly it hasn't. Philip Lowe, who is the Governor of the Reserve Bank, said he also did not understand why financial markets were assuming he would start lifting the cash rate target next year. He said he would only lift the cash rate when wages were growing at an annual pace of 3% at least, and when inflation was comfortably within a 2-3% to band. The cash rate target is currently sitting at a record low of 0.1%, which is feeding the rapid growth in house prices. Our judgment is that this condition for a lift in the cash rate will not be met before 2024. House prices increased 1.9% in August and 5.3% in the previous quarter, with annual growth peaking at 17.9%. This is the highest rate since July 1989. Adelaide's average house price is at a record levels. Properties in the top end of the market have enjoyed the highest growth levels at 6.6% compared to 3.3% in the bottom quarter. Rent has also increased by 8.1% over the last 12 months. If you're interested in finding out how we can assist you with any of your real estate needs, simply contact myself, Angela, or my husband, Michael Steneford. Thank you for your time. This is Owens Cassidy Real Estate.